Arriving to bolster War Games Atlantic's classic fantasy range, this giant spider's box contains six identical hard plastic frames. Each frame is just shy of 15cm by 15cm and bristling with arachnid parts. There are enough gribbly bits on each, in fact, to give even the bravest Ah, oh, I'll remove that spider from the sink type home champions nightmares. On each frame there are a ton of different bits which you can use to make giant spiders, but we'll get to those later. Before that, there are two single part small spiders. When we say these are small, they're actually quite big small. If you put them at scale, they'd be rather large. They measure about 13 millimeters from their head to the tip, and that's not including the legs. You can snip these free pretty easily and use them instantly, and you get 12 in total in two different poses. There are also two different types of web-wrapped victims. One looks like a human or maybe an elf. Uh, you can't really tell because they lurk under all that wrapping. The other's got a real Frodo in trouble hobbit kind of look to them. Uh, but for a hobbit, he's a big un. He's almost as tall as a wrapped human. It's worth noting that bases aren't included in the box. You'll need to buy them separately if you want these and the bigger spiders to go onto bases. And this is a bit of a shame, but as a full box costs a fairly cheap £25 or $34 US, uh, we're not going to quibble too much. Yeah, we'll save those quibbles for the pain and frustration we suffered building the damnable giant spiders. But let's talk about the positives of the giant spiders first. There are two of them on each frame, and once they're built, they look extremely imposing and pretty gross. Uh, they're so big, in fact, that a War Games Atlantic Goblin Warband, which is due for release later in the year, uh, possibly next year, now that we've reached this point, will allow you to make Goblin Spider Cavalry by combining the kits. If you want massive spiders at an extremely reasonable price, we'd wholeheartedly recommend these fantastic models. If you didn't have to build them. We're no stranger to making kits here at War Games Illustrated, but the giant spiders drove us to the brink. The first problem is that there are no instructions, not even online, and a lot of limbs that look pretty similar. Beyond that, and even worse, the parts that are made to slot together via squared off pegs haven't been properly tooled, so they require a good bit of pressing to fit. If you're doing that, after fixing any other parts of the kit together, you'll probably send those bits flying as you summon up your power to push pegs into spaces that don't have enough space. After that, you'll need to line up another six legs, which have rounded mount points, and then there's two more pincers. So maths fans, let's do some quick calculation. Two square legs, plus six rounded legs, plus two pincers, plus one body, plus one thorax, times 12, to the square root of, nah, this doesn't really fit well together, at a factor of many minutes holding, balancing, and weighting per limb. Overall, it equals, <laughs> no, or, 144 parts, if you actually want an exact figure. And it's a real shame. We'd love to fully recommend the kit, but we feel it's our duty to let you know that you might actually lose your mind in the process of building these spiders. The build experience was so frustrating that we didn't even have the heart to make a third spider using the optional death fields bits. Uh, these allow you to create a laser-toting mechanical limbed space spider. Uh, something that silly would usually have us salivating, but we just didn't have the heart. If you want a horde of cheap, giant spiders, and you've got the patience required to make them, these are still kind of worth your consideration. The limbs and spares, especially the mechanical ones, will also be brilliant additions to your bits box, if you enjoy making conversions of aliens, chaos creations, or some sort of inquisitorial oddness for games such as Warhammer 40,000. But on the whole, for serving the purpose of a giant swarm of giant spiders, it's just going to take you too long to put them together. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, War Games Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.